Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning the uh, NFL Super Bowl. I was watching it in the office. It was a pretty incredible game at that last overtime uh you know, part of the game. And I mean, it's very different from the AFL or the Australian Football League. Uh, the way we play our game here, it's pretty crazy stuff. But it was an awesome game, nevertheless. And uh, very heavily based on Taylor Swift. Don't you think? Wow, it was incredible. Anyway, there is quite a bit to get through in the crypto news. Whilst everyone was watching the Super Bowl, there was quite a lot of news coming out about cryptocurrencies. We've got ARK Invest predicting that Bitcoin will hit 2.3 million dollars per coin, which is very interesting as well. We've got, you know, some updates in relation to XRP and Ripple. Community is getting quite frustrated. However, if you did watch the video on my channel uh, of Brad Garlinghouse I put up earlier this morning, patience is absolute key. Very, very bullish. Now we've got Super Bowl ads. Yeah, there wasn't many. Like if, you know, any at all, given the fallout from FTX uh, last year as well, which is crazy. And of course, we've got uh, ARK21 shares now crossing that $1 billion mark, which is awesome, if you ask me. Chainlink whales are stepping up their accumulation. And, and you know, to be quite honest, I'm very bullish on Chainlink. It is, uh, you know, linked, pardon the pun, uh, with a lot of other crypto projects as well. And Valkyrie Chief IO, or CIO, I should say, predicts negative trend in the Bitcoin ETF market. I don't think so, mate. And we're going to go over my three commas bots, which are actually in profit, given it's Monday uh, evening here. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, things have been very quiet because, of, of course, everyone's watching the Super Bowl rather than trading crypto. But anyway, let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing, with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are getting wild in this space and I absolutely love it. So come along this insane journey that we're all on. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything at all. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right, formalities are out of the way. Straight to community tab. Yes, ARK Invest. Kathy Woods predicts that Bitcoin could potentially hit $2.3 million. That's US dollars, by the way, per coin if there was an allocation of all uh, assets, well, I should say in all major firms, putting a 19.4% allocation into Bitcoin. I mean, this is huge. And yeah, I do believe that will happen very, very soon. And by the way, the Bitcoin halving is not too far away. 60 days or something like that, or close to that. So we're not far away from that. So keep an eye on it. Yes, again, the Chiefs went, uh, went, won the uh, Super Bowl, which is again, a great game. Uh, real talk, yes, passive income is absolute king. Change my mind. Seriously, in the comments, uh, my bots have been making gains. I mean, this was earlier today, $136. We had a 1,337 on the week, uh, 476 on the month again. Coming out of that Christmas period has been extremely wild and, you know, interest rates are not helping. 11,631, which is nuts. That is all in the Wall Street Bull University. Go join up. You can copy the bots. We'll have a look at that in a second. Top altcoins in my portfolio this morning, we had Ubix. A Russian-based layer one project. We had BTT again. This thing goes freaking wild. Up, down, up, down, up, down. It's just nuts. UFO Gaming, Telcoin, and XPR Proton. I think a lot of you are getting this confused with XRP. It's a totally different project. Basically, in a nutshell, what it is, is you're using usernames to send crypto as opposed to a wallet address, which, you know, to be quite honest, I feel is much better. Um, it's like a PayPal sort of thing. And... Uh, 
it just makes it a lot easier rather than using those long crypto wallet addresses which can be quite daunting especially if you're sending large sums of money through anyway that's it for community tab let's go to coin uh coin market cap uh we've got 1.8 trillion dollars in the market today 45 billion dollars it's quite low 52 uh, on the uh, Bitcoin dominance right here and 68 on the fear and greed index. Bitcoin's trading still above 48,000 US dollars, which is incredible if you ask me because it's holding quite strong. Ethereum's at 2,501. Solana's at $105. XRP's back down slightly. I mean, 51 cents is still insane. Undervalued. Chainlink's at $20. I'm bullish on Chainlink. It's part of my portfolio. Dot, $7. Maddox at 83 cents. Litecoin, $71. Shiba Inu, I'm still holding it. Haven't sold anything. We'll see where that goes. Uh, Optimism, $3.56. I uh, do trade Optimism as well with the three commas dollar cost averaging bots. Uh, XLM is 11 cents. Moving down, Hedera at 7 cents today. VeChain, 3 cents. It's been like this for 12 months. Uh, scrolling down the graphs, 16 cents. Algorand, uh, 17 cents as well. Quant, 102 scrolling down let's keep looking for some gems cfx is at 21 cents uh, iota is at 25 cents as well look again I, I mean i bought this when it collapsed with uh ust the stable coin uh which you know they were trying to bring back for some time uh but i'm still holding my look and gala is at two cents as well and i am bullish on casper xyo and reef and um just utility coins, guys. Utility is absolute king, in my opinion. Anyway, moving on, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And yes, before I do, I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below, guys. This is my official Patreon page where I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, trading bots with three commas on OKX, uh, all my dividend investing. Again, that's going to be generational wealth stuff right there. Uh, eventually passed down to my daughter one day. So, I mean, this is incredible stuff that I'm posting up in here. It's really valuable information. I really don't think people understand. A lot of you do, but some of you don't. Uh, there's 1,758 posts of juicy, juicy, fruitful information. All right, go join up to it. It's incredible. The link is in the video description down there. There is an awesome chat feature where you can speak to everybody in the community and you can also direct message me as well. So I'll get to everyone's direct messages because again, I get inundated with them all the time. Anyway, that is like link below. Go join up. I've kept it at five US dollars a month, which is again, absolutely nothing compared to what people have made with the three commas bots. Now again, with three commas, I've got multi bots set up running as I show you literally every day on this channel, you know, running both long and short trading an RSI indicator on a one and a half point, oh, sorry, one and a half percent profit target. So again, each one of these deals takes 1.5%, which is, you know, not a lot, but when you add that up across multiple deals, it does add up. Uh, and again, the RSI indicator is on a three minute time frame. Now, again, all the perpetual contracts on OKX, I am literally trading. And again, you can use this on multiple exchanges. You don't necessarily have to use this on OKX. I use OKX because, uh, you know, they allow me to trade with leverage and they really look after creators. I'm just putting that out there. So really, really bullish stuff. So you can use this on anything you're comfortable with. All right. Having a look at OKX today on the day, we're up $66. The market is extremely quiet. Of course, on the week, we're up $1,334. Uh, that's 13.2% based on $2,700 in trading capital. Just making that clear on the month. Again, still recovering from the Christmas period, bills, presents, you name it. Uh, we're up, up actually in the green of $475 and on the six months here, that's 48% return, $11,593, which is crazy when you think about that. $11 sitting in there, a profit at the moment. I've got 50 open orders with 50 trading at the moment in uh, full bone trading mode right here. Again, uh, they're all over the place because these things just, um, you know, open and buy, close and sell. It's crazy. Uh, again, it's a lot to manage. Now, if we just quickly go to uh, position history, we'll have a look at what's doing today. A couple of liquidations here. I'm not worried about that. The market's pretty quiet at the moment. Uh, let's have a look here. We've got some profits. One liquidation here, $3.85, $3.48, 27 liquidated, 50 cent. A couple of liquidations today. That happens. That happens when the market's a little bit quiet. Uh, but we're still seeing gains here. So we're in the green still, which is good. And uh, hopefully when the market picks up after the Super Bowl and everyone's sort of recovering from their hangovers, things will get good. But overall on the week, we're still up really, really well. I'm not complaining about those kind of gains per week because again, it really helps pay the bills. Uh, now quickly moving on, let's go to Crypto Bubbles, having a look on the day. 
And uh, in actual fact, let's have a look. IMX is literally the only one up here that I'm familiar with. I'm not even talking about Monero. Uh, again, a lot of people were buying this, to be quite honest with you, even though it was getting delisted off, uh, sorry, I've got something in my eye, uh, delisted off Binance, which is interesting. Uh, but we have Immutable X or IMX up 10% today, which again is nice. And there are still good buying opportunities. This is my ideal time. I like to dollar cost average into my investments, just putting that out there. Having a look on the hour, we're slowly creeping back up in the green, which is nice to see that, all right? So some good gems right there. Moving on, let's get to this, but ARK Invest, Kathy Woods, incredibly bullish, right? Basically, her firm, firm has reported that global investors opt for optimal allocation to Bitcoin, the market will surge, which is absolute facts, right? Now, the price of the world's largest cryptos could skyrocket to a staggering $2.3 million if 19.4% of global institutional investment moved to the digital asset. Kathy Woods from ARK Invests speculated in a new report. With the global investment asset base standing at $250 trillion, the big ideas of 2024 report, uh, ARK indicated that investing 19.4% from the base would caused Bitcoin's price to soar to a staggering new heights. And the report outlined that the world's top digital assets has shown resilience after the recent brutal crypto winter, which was freaking brutal, by the way, uh, again, and uh, and now is poised for it to be a major growth vehicle for investors' portfolios. I agree. Seriously, I agree. And again, that, that crypto winter was brutal. Um, I saw my portfolio drop, and I kid you not, at least 60 to 70 percent from what it was valued at at the peak of the bull market so let that one sink in for a moment now how could an etf for xrp unleash the full potential of xrp this is fascinating but despite strong partnerships and market cap xrp prices remained stagnant however if you did watch that interview with brad garlinghouse uh that i posted earlier on my channel he says that you know everything is moving in the right direction, all right? People need to understand that. Now, an XRP ETF has the potential to boost the price through increased utility and enhanced demand. I agree. And a favorable outcome in the SEC battle has the potential to trigger renewed interest and blow off top, 100%. Imagine a scenario where institutions and everyday uh, investors can easily access XRP through a re regulated investment vehicle like an ETF you know, Gary Gens's head would probably spin 360 degrees if that were the case. Uh, this could trigger a significant price increase fueled by two mechanisms, utility and investment. Firstly, the XRP ETF could act as a gateway for wider XRP adoption by collecting XRP and potentially directing it into institutional liquidity hubs. So I've got into your notes. Don't know why the ETF could facilitate active usage of the token, boosting its overall utility and perceived value. 100%. Not only that, the price would literally slowly increase given the fact that people would buy it. Now, I think a lot of ETFs are going to be starting, of course, with Ethereum. We'll move down to, you know, basically the top 10. And we could potentially see an S&P 500 sort of, you know, thing for cryptos. Different sectors, utilities. Uh, you know, we could have, you know, gaming. Uh, we could have, uh, you know, uh, you know, trade, finance, all that kind of stuff. Real estate. All kinds of things, which is going to be fascinating. I can't wait for that because it's a whole new sector. It's incredible. Uh, now, again, XRP Ripple lawsuit. Everyone's sick and tired of this, of course. I am. It's, I'm drained, and I think we're all you know, basically sick of reading legal documents. But an appeals could delay the SEC lawsuit. And, and uh, you know, of course, the SEC is going to do everything in their power to delay this. Legal battle between the SEC and Ripple Labs over XRP could extend until 2026, due to potential appeals. And the case uh, is in the remedies phase with significant developments com complicating the proceedings. The final judgment from Judge Torres is expected of summer 2024, which is mid-year here in Australia, but the appeals could delay the resolution. I'm still bullish on the project. I don't care. Yes, Super Bowl ads see decline from the uh, you know FTX debacle that happened as well uh, and the fallout from that. So there was basically no crypto ads compared to what it was last year, which was basically a crypto Super Bowl. Insane. And a new approach to marketing facing regulatory headwinds and changing market sentiments, creative engagement beyond traditional ads. And again, there was basically nothing as far as I'm aware. 
Uh, now, again, we've got ARK21 shares crosses $1 billion as a big win for crypto investment, which is crazy. And ARK B is the ETF and ticker symbol. Has soared past $1 billion in assets, which is nuts, signaling a significant leap in the digital currency investment trust. And ARK Invest celebrated its achievement on February 9th, underscoring the escalating interest in the crypto sector. Bloomberg's James Seaford pointed out that ARK's substantial investment influx Noting Arc B standout performance, he also highlighted Bitwise trailing close with assets nearing $830 million, uh, showcasing a tight race in the Bitcoin ETF arena. But of course, iBit, BlackRock's is at number one at the moment. Literally, I'd say probably on par with Michael Saylor. So Michael Saylor has literally gotten ahead of all of these funds. That's pretty remarkable if you ask me. Chainlink whales step up accumulation what is next for links prices now there's a lot of whales buying it of course and over the past few days the interest from chain link whales has intensified particularly with increased aggression from particular whale wallets look on chain day to show that this whale wallet has been consistently accumulating chain link over the last three days which is nice and at the time of this writing the whale wallet has amassed a total of 4.5 million tokens valued at 83.6 million dollars <laughs> where the people get this kind of capital can you tell me i don't know man it's, it's just crazy and of course a valkyrie cio predicts the negative trend in the bitcoin etf market which is interesting as well stephen mcclurg has predicted a downturn in companies hosting etfs before the end of the year strategies amid intense competition i think the etfs that are essentially, you know, people are focusing on other big boys, of course. You know, you've got BlackRock, Arc B, uh, big girls, I should say, Arc B or Kathy Woods Fund. But, you know, I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon, to be honest with you. I think it's just, you know, people are slowly accumulating. A lot of people, and I would never sell my Bitcoin anyway, so I'm just putting that out there. And it's just a matter of time. Buy flow money's going into Ethereum today. We've got Near Protocol. We've got uh, Injective, Optimism, and ICP, which is interesting. XRP is not there, which is annoying. Good for me. Uh, now, quickly going to X. Now, again, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Thank you so much to every single one of you who have uh, joined me on X. I really appreciate that. And uh, moving down. Uh, again, this is Leonardo DiCaprio skiing some slopes, if everyone knows what that is. We have Jack Dorsey, uh, again, wearing a Satoshi t-shirt at the last Super Bowl. And uh, he's also wearing another one at this Super Bowl. But this is crazy. This is no BS. This is actually from Joe Biden, President Joe Biden's um, ex-account, putting up laser eyes. Is that weird? That's creepy, man. That's just weird. Anyway... Moving on, Edward Snowden says he's watching the Bitcoin chart as opposed to watching the Super Bowl. I agree. You know, I was watching the Super Bowl and the crypto charts, just putting that out there. And yes, big thank you to the Chiefs. Elon Musk, have a listen to this. It makes sense to integrate payments into Twitter. Um, so it's easier to send uh, money back and forth. Um, uh, you know, and, and, and fiat currency as well as crypto. Um, you know, uh, it's essentially whenever somebody would find uh, useful. So, like I so said, the, the, the goal, my, my goal would be to, to maximize the usefulness of the of the uh, service. Um, the more useful it is, uh, the, the better. And if one can use it to make convenient payments, that's an increase in usefulness. Um, it, you know, it's, it's a sort of it's sort of news uh, entertainment. And payments, I think, are like three critical areas. Uh He's a fascinating human being, that's for sure. And yes, that is uh, Elon with his son. How cool is that, man? That's the goals right there. Now, Grayscale predicts a unique Bitcoin halving in April due to strong miner um, preparation, booming on-chain activity, and rising ETF adoption, potentially reshaping the market. Again, Grayscale, stop selling your freaking Bitcoin. That's, that is finally slowed. Uh, now, Tucker Carlson and uh, Michael Saylor, have a listen to this. Buying at the top forever. So you're buying. Yeah, I'll be buying at the top forever. So you're buying. He's, he's so straightforward, man. He actually is. Uh, and again, we've got some interesting stuff for the APAC region, Asia Pacific region, which is Australia. Blockchain APAC has announced that its partnership with Ripple to host Australia Policy Summit as part of the Policy Week. 2024 in Sydney, 
that's going to be interesting. And by the way, have you bought your tickets to Wave of Innovation? No. Let, let me know in the comments below if you have. Make sure you grab a hold of those. Uh, let's get on here. Yes. Should I make the new Super Bowl ring? That'd be pretty bullish right there. There is my ring right there, my money ring. I could definitely do that easy. Would be crazy to do that as well. And by the way, I just want to point out, uh, if you're on TikTok, this is no BS, right? This is no bullshit. There are so many accounts imposing to, or being, you know, trying to be me. They're fake accounts, literally pages and pages of fake accounts. People are literally following fake accounts. It's not me. Uh, crazy stuff. All right. So be careful. There are so many fake accounts and TikTok will not verify my account. I've tried heaps of times. TikTok, if you're watching this, please verify my account because this is out of control. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like something out of the matrix. It's just ridiculous. Uh, we're moving on here. Let's have a look here. Brad Garlinghouse, I want to play this interview. Listen to this. David backstage. Uh, I was in talking to one of the largest global money center banks on the planet, and I was talking to them about our primary product, Fiat Fiat, called X Current. And it, this guy kind of interrupts me. He's like, yeah, 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 that's nice, but I have a problem settling into Peru. Can I use XRP to help me settle into Peru? And honestly, I was like, holy shit. Like, you know, here's one of the biggest <laughs> banks in the world who has more liquidity than almost anybody out there, and I'm not even trying to talk to him about crypto and digital assets. I'm trying to talk to him about the, the, the core of Fiat to Fiat. And, it, you know, he's already looking ahead and realizing that look, th this is something that can help me solve a problem in Peru. And I don't want to necessarily hold currency in Peru from an inflation point of view, or a regulatory risk point of view, a compliance risk. So they're looking for other solutions. And again, if, if you solve a real problem for real customers, it's going to work out. Incredible. Patience. Patience, XRP Army. Yes, the Bitcoin halving, uh, 70 days, probably less now anyway. But I just want to play this one last interview, then we'll end up on this, all right? When I zoom out and look at where Ripple sits in the blockchain and crypto ecosystem, we are incredibly fortunate to be the only company with real customers solving real problems. That is at the early stages of that marathon, but there's no doubt that as we, we look at the race that has started, we're the only ones that have crossed that starting. Introducing XRP into those flows will take time, but as I said, every marathon starts with a single step. There you go. All right. Takes time. Patience, XRP Army. And the fear and greed index is sitting at 71 this morning. That has obviously changed. But guys, the top altcoins in my portfolio, again, is utility coins. I keep saying this. This is the real OGs right here. Yes, Bitcoin's in there. Ethereum, as much as I cannot freaking stand it. Solana, XRP, of course. And uh, XDC, IOTA, Quant, all the gems, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm out of here. Make sure you join the Wall Street Bull University. Some nice gains at the moment. We're still, you know, in the green, which is really good as well. I'll speak to everybody in the community tab later on. And uh, have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. And if it's morning, have an espresso. And if you're in the Super Bowl, yeah, get some Barocco and maybe have a Red Bull because you're going to be hungover as F. Anyway, take care of yourselves, guys. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Peace out.